Welcome to the Startable Vlog, the place where everyone can be an entrepreneur. I'm Nicole Dickens, the founder of Zoetica, where we help people start, launch, then scale their ideas for maximum impact. Now, the Startable community itself is all about igniting the entrepreneurial spirit by creating as many opportunities for those at the early stages of entrepreneurship to discover, then launch those ideas of theirs into the world. And it will forever be free to join. Now we're starting a new series on creating capacity. How do you find the time and other resources? And yes, folks, it is not just about the time to do the tremendous work of starting up. And I'm not going to play games with you about this. It does take a great deal of your time and mind share to get something started, but it can be done. It can be done. Anything and everything is actually startable. As I've shared before, starting up doesn't mean you necessarily have a success story on your hand immediately. And to be honest, that's rarely the case. It just means you've gotten started, basically. You should be pivoting several times in the process to move towards that emanation that would be success. But pivot and move you must. But how do you create capacity to even get started, to even begin? First, let's quickly define the term capacity. Basically, it's the amount that something can produce. Simply put, it is indeed a production term. And as organic entities or human beings, we have the ability to actually increase and decrease our capacity at will, unlike inanimate objects. I mean, a box can only hold up to its area, yes? It's not going to get much more. Um, in it than what it can actually hold. But if I increase my caloric intake like I have during this pandemic without also increase, increasing my um, energy output, my physical shape will increase to store the new fat cells I've just created because I am an organic being. But the kind of capacity I'm referring to here is the ability to create and build something new, different, or just better than what's already out there. It includes time, but it's not restricted to just time. There are other resources needed as well to get started, like Mindshare. What are you able to mentally devote to creating, solving, and building out this idea of yours? Relationships. Who can support you in the development process? Where do you need to be supported? Hint, start with your family first because they're going to be impacted the most by what you decide to do with regards to starting up and, and entrepreneurship in general. Include them from the get-go. Word to the wise. But there are other relationships you must also consider and we'll talk about them in more detail as well in this series. What new habits you need to start and old ones you need to end that will increase your capacity to seriously explore entrepreneurship. And if you've already started, that's wonderful. Have you enough capacity to think about your next steps? What's coming ahead? Where do you like this to go in the next three to five years? This series is still for you too. Creating capacity to start up is a key concept in Startable because we strongly believe in the concept of not quitting your day job to focus on starting up initially. This approach avoids some major stresses like it reduces your financial risk at the beginning but can create a few new ones, like how do you juggle it all? I say again that it can be done, and this series to help you understand how. So if you're currently mulling over a potential startup idea and you're wondering if you have what it takes to see it through, I would encourage you to start testing your idea by determining where you can actually create capacity to explore it. Or I'll introduce another word for that concept, where can you create margin? to explore that idea. And Startable is the place to help you do this as we exist to encourage early stage entrepreneurs in exploring their ideas for viability and impact. So go ahead and get started on that idea by answering the capacity question. Where's the first place you need to look? The first thing you need to do to increase your capacity for even exploring your idea. See you next time.